Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. I hope you recognize this station because it's one of the very early stations on this server, and it is the iconic Red Leaf Station. You can see these beautiful red trees around me, and oh, is this the Snowland Express Bridge? Still work in progress after so many months. But anyway, I am here because I have something to work on at Red Leaves. Wow, it's kind of amazing how this station is still standing after so many changes have been happening on the server. So let me pull up the system map real quick and tell you what I'm talking about. Wow, the system map has really gotten a lot more lines since we first started. And Red Leaves is here, it already has four lines here. Used to be only the Weiss Express line and the Spawn Grand Circular. Now, the Sightseeing Express and the South Continental stops here as well. So you see there's a three line interchange right here at Red Leaves. So what we have to do is to build platforms for these two lines, which are sharing tracks. And if I come in here, right now there are no connections there at all. But down here, we see two extra platforms built by Lily and maybe Nemo, I don't know. But the theme matches the top quite well. I'm quite impressed on how they designed the... Oh, looks like they have two different train lengths here as well. Four car, seven car. Yeah, so the sightseeing line and the South Continental line runs through here. You can see on the map, they have quite a bit of overlap. So this has been designed according to the Spawn Grand Circular theme. I don't think there's much needed to modify here because it looks pretty good already. Quite happy with the result. And even the tunnel looks pretty good as well. With some signaling, passenger information, display systems. Yeah, all of it looks really good to me. Oh. Just got on this train. What is this? I think this is a South Continental train to Cyan Heights. All right, so since most of this is pretty much completed, I just have to put down some escalators to connect up here and maybe pull the lift down as well. Let me see how much space I have because the lift is pretty close to the platform edge. Hmm, not really. I think I can do it. All right. So let me send the lift up because it's kind of kind of annoying if I have to deal with that. So I wonder how much space I have. Looks pretty good actually if I cut down so I'll break these seats here because we don't want people sitting right where the lift comes out. So if I cut out a hole here, it lines up pretty well with the rest of it. So maybe I can do some cobblestone walls or what kind of material would blend well with the rest of it. Because the platform is quite purple, just like the platforms up here. And then the middle parts are just spruce wood. <laughs> okay, let me put down the basics first and then we can try to design it better. All right, so the lift is functional now. I've boxed it up, used some quartz bricks, and I think that works pretty well. So here it is, platform four. I should probably add the destination, but right now it's fine. So platform four. This one would be light rail or platform five. And this one would be concourse or platform two and then platform one. The reason I put these other platforms here as well is because if you want to change to those lines, you would want to get on the lift and get on the lift and then take, take it to that floor to get out and then walk over to that other platform that you want. So that's why I do it. So this one would be platform one and four. Now that they're 
there are more destinations. I could probably use a shorter sign, which I will do in a second. All right, just putting down some signs as well. We have these ones down there, and then we have these ones, platform one and four. These ones in the middle, two and five, although I haven't connected this one down there yet. But this one should be all good to go. This lift should be functional. Now, I think it would be easiest to just copy and paste it over to the other side. So let me just do that. All right, this one's functional as well. So now they're officially, officially connected. Let's give it a test. We'll go in, look at the floors, platform five, platform four, platform one, platform two. Let's go to the top, to the spawn grand circular. We up and up. Wow, there's a train. All right. There are actually no signs up here, which is a little weird to me. I think we should have signs saying where this lift goes, but I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. But we should still have some signs. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Just afraid that there's no space. Let's see. If I did this... Use some purple blocks here. Because I'll need the odd sign. I'll need seven units or else it's not going to be long enough. So exit, train, light rail, Weiss Express, sightseeing, South Continental. Yeah, that looks pretty squished. So what if I just did trains? and light rail. That would work, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's just do this for now. So I'll copy, rotate 180, and paste. Yeah, there we go. So now we can get down to the bottom with this. All right, cool. Nemo joined the game. Hi, Nemo. So I was thinking we could probably put some escalators from here to here as well. So since this is a solid wall and there's like a cave here, this gives us a bit more space to make an escalator landing. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm too lazy to do that right now. So <laughs> at least there are lifts. So if there are visitors wanting to come here, at least you can use the lifts. All right. And these signs also point towards the South Continental and sightseeing this way. And we have this Escalator and stair network to the spawn grand circular. This is such a big unused area Hmm I'm thinking of adding some signs along the platform here just to point people to the exit So something like that Similar to that other sign up above Maybe not even this lift icon so just trains and light rail yeah so every other seat thing i'm gonna put one of this like that and no need here because that's where the lift is. And probably just here. So same thing here, trains and light rail. 
All right. So this would be a left facing sign, right facing, right facing, and last one. Cool. I think Lily wanted to show me something because there's been some changes at the spawn APM as well. So let me teleport to her and see what's going on. Wow, what is this? Is this a waiting area? Observation room. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, waiting area slash observation room. All right, wow, look at that. That's very nice, nicely decorated. Let's see what else is here. Oh, this frame rate is really dropping here. That's because there's so many signs. Oh, this is the sky tunnel. <laughs> Look at that. The clouds are moving as well. That's c quite trippy. Okay, so that comes out right there. Whoa, look at this crazy lag. Okay, this is still spawn technically. But this will be Cyan Heights, right? Okay, this is Cyan Heights. This is so laggy. I really need to improve the rendering code for signs. What's this down here? Ah, oh, this is where the South Continental stops at Cyan Heights. This is a really big interchange metropolis area. I'm really impressed at how this whole thing turned out. And I know it's still work in progress. There's always going to be new stuff, but really well done, everyone. Okay, so let's see which one. So this is from Cyan Heights to Terminal 1 back to Spawn. So let's go see what Terminal 1 has. So here's terminal one. Let's see what routes this has, if I can manage to get out here. Yeah, terminal one goes to spawn only. Whereas this line can either go to Cyan Heights or terminal two. Ah, so the split is right here. Okay, I'm going to explore this some other time when my frame rate is better because this is <laughs> quite hard to do stuff. Okay, somebody suggested that I redecorate this area because the walls are really bare. So I think that's a good idea. Probably do that like off camera or something. Wow, why is this suddenly so laggy? I don't know why. All right, I got out of the the lag area a little bit. Oh, you know why my lag is so bad? Because my video settings is set at 32 chunks. Of course. So if I make it back down to 8 and go to my mod options and make this like 25% this, sh this should be much better. So it's still a bit laggy, but it's much better than before, where I'm getting only a few frames. Right now I'm getting at least like 10. It's still playable at least. Okay. All right, so the next part of the video, I would like to do some touring as well. And I've noticed that the Azalea CL, look at this, is now running. So I don't know if it's still work in progress. If it is, sorry about that. But if it's not, I would love to tour it. So let's head inside. It now goes from Toy Toy to Rainbow Heaven. So I've not seen the Rainbow Heaven side. Actually, I haven't seen like the whole whole thing. Uh, so this part goes to Toy Toy. 
goes through museum. Actually, let's just go to Rainbow Heaven and then we can backtrack all the way to Toy Toy. Quite curious to see what this is about. Oh, there's a train. This is a custom train too. It looks really, really good. It's like a very old style train, but with electronic displays. All right, here we go. I'm excited. Kira's builds are always very good. So the next station is Icon Pier. We've featured this many times in previous videos and in video intros because it's just that good. Wow, you can even see out the front here. The driver's cab and a first aid station. This is really, really nice train. Sky roof. I wonder what this is based on or if it's completely fictional. These headlights go up all the way. It reminds me of those Amazon, new Amazon trucks you see in Seattle where their taillights are like all around the back, like continuous. Wow. This is just very aesthetic in general. There's been a lot of time put into building these bridges and adding the pantographs. There's even CCTVs like along the line. I'm always very impressed when writing Kira's lines. Actually, I featured a uh, rainbow, what was it called? Rainbow Heaven Station in the last intro of the last in the intro of the tutorial video. So if you haven't seen the latest tutorial, I answered the top five questions that you all might have about the mod. So please go check that out. And wow, I'm still at a loss of words on this line. Really cool. Okay, let's sit back and continue enjoying the ride. I like to stand back a little bit so that I can see what station we're arriving at. Jinnipak Station is next. So it looks like Kira used the scrolling text option, but not the London Underground setting preset. So it's just the name of the next station, but scrolling. I like that. I like that effect. Maybe I should just do videos of me sitting in the front, just enjoying the scenery. What do you all think? Would you enjoy a video like that? Where I'm not talking, not building, but just writing lines back and forth. I think some of you might enjoy that. Jinnipakas and Icon Pier are one of the older stations on this server. And they look really good. Oh, actually, when I did my top five station video, I visited Museum Station. So that's where this train goes on the other side. So I have seen Museum Station, the Azalea CL section. Oh, Lily is suggesting that I do another round of R2C. That would be fun. I'm assuming this branch goes off to the sightseeing line. So that's why we're not going that way right now. What's the next one? Sakura Stream. Wow. This is really amazing scenery as well. Oh, is Eric wanting to ride this train as well? Or Eric wants to play Race to Cyan Heights. I'd be down to play again. That was fun last time. Did you all enjoy watching it? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do a whole series about <laughs> Race to Cyan Heights. Wow, this has texture too. Very impressed. Even the handrails and the wall. 
Like at first glance, I thought these textures were just solid color, but if you look carefully, they're actually textured. Wow. The next station is Rainbow Heaven. So this is the last stop. Going through some hills, through some tunnels. I should probably make my spawn grand circular bridges and tunnels better. Okay, Eric is here. So maybe we'll head back and do some race to sign heights. Oh, that platform's unused right now, I think. But let's get off and take a look at the station. We got some rainbows here. This train goes back to Toy Toy. The headways are quite frequent too. Every minute, I think. Wow, really good use of color as well. It's not like the whole station is full of rainbows, but parts of it is like using deep slate, a bit more dark colors, and this is quite a neutral color for terracotta. And we have a bunch of seating area. I don't know what's this though. Is this like a little restaurant area? And what's on here? Rainbow Heaven Sakura Forest. Wow. So last time I took that video intro right about here, but I don't know if this still is work in progress. What is this biome here? I don't have that HUD mod on. This is Sakura Grove. If I play Race to Sign Heights, I should probably turn on... Oh, not mod menu. I should probably turn on my HUD because that's gonna help. So I can see that I'm looking west, Sakura Grove. All right, let's get back in, hop on the train, and then we can play Race to Sign Heights. Let's go in here. Yeah, that side has nothing right now. Hmm, are there no escalators? I thought I saw an escalator here, yeah. The next train to Toy Toy is coming pretty soon as well. So we came from Sign Heights, went all the way here, and then this one goes from Museum back to Toy Toy. Okay. I feel like I've seen those stations already, so we don't have to visit them again. I want to see the lights change color though. These white lights, and then they'll change to red. Maybe only when the train departs though. Oh wow, I just noticed a little detail as well. You see under the door, that light strip? I think it turns off when the doors are closed. Very neat detail. Hmm, maybe I should consider making fictional trains as well. Because right now I'm always modeling after real life. But this is very interesting. Like it opens up a lot of possibilities like, oh, I just want to add some lights here or I just want to add a display here. You can easily do that with custom or fictional trains, I mean. All right. Azalea CL was a really fun line to ride and then I'm back at Sign Heights. So I've just been suggested to take one of the shuttles at North Tundra. Let me take a look at the map right here so north tundra up to crater village there's a shuttle so there has been a new train just recently added mod and if you've been following the updates you would know that it is i'm not gonna tell you we'll go find out but actually you might already know from the video title is the br423 from Germany. So I'm not that familiar with German trains, but I know it's used a lot in the... Let me see. <laughs> in the S-Bahn commuter rails in Germany. I had to look that up because it would be embarrassing if I said the wrong thing. Oh, I just realized I could have taken the APM from Sign Heights, 
But it's okay, I'm used to going the old way. Just walking directly to spawn, going to this interchange concourse, watching the news, <laughs> and then going over to here. There's a train, am I gonna get it? Yeah. So I'm going up to North Tundra first, and then I'm going to show you that new line with the BR-423. And you can tell me how well I did in modeling the trains. This was a Patreon request, by the way. And if you would like to support me in the development of the mod, please feel free to support me by subscribing on Patreon. It really helps me out a lot. But anyway, we're here at Terminal 1. Oh, that was a... That was a long announcement. If you are an unpaid passenger and need help loading your fare card, please see employees at the help desk in the concourse. Nice. Alright, so North Tundra is from Terminal 1, so we're go gonna interchange right here. And I've put barriers here so that you can't jump over. We have to go through security as well. So go through here. And I think North Tundra is the last platform. Oh, you can already see it here. But we're not taking this train because this is just like a, a dummy train just for show. Are we going to make that? No, just missed it. This train to Jonathan's Resort also stops at North Tundra. What else stops at North Tundra? I feel like there should be another line here that also goes there. Did they take it out of service? I don't know. Oh, this one. The Clanmora line. We'll just have to see which one comes first. Callus. Oh, okay, that one's one minute. This one is what? 55 seconds. Let's just stand here and see which one comes first. Just looking at the passenger information display signs, it looks like they're gonna come at around the same time. If I position my cursor like this, you can see both sides. They're about the same, so the Clanmer one is gonna be slightly faster than the one to the resort. So I wonder if we can cut the line. Oh, sleepy. I wonder if we can cut the line when we hit that junction there. I'm curious to see. We're, we're racing that train. Come on. Oh, we go under. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, it's two separate tracks. Okay, then we that shouldn't be an issue then. Why are they going faster? We should both be going 300. Oh, they have a tighter radius. Or maybe it's just a visual thing. Yeah, see, it's supposed to go at the same speed. That's pretty cool though. <laughs> We're racing that other 802. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool to see though. But then we're all, we're both going to North Tundra anyway. All right, we've just branched off from the other side. That is a 377 that just passed us. Yeah. Oh, we stopped at a signal. Probably there's a train in front. So that means that train to the resort is going to beat us. Did it already leave? It should be on that side right now. Yeah, it's about to leave now because we had to wait for the signal. That's okay. Lily said that North Tundra has some new additions. Platform 3, 4, and 6, which go to the... Oh, are we going to concourse? I didn't click that. But... I think there's an interchange platform that we can check out. Wow, nice. The concourse looks good. 
I like the style of it. Nice. Oh, there's a platform five to Elm Park as well. We have a new concourse with a giant departure board. Yeah. So this takes advantage of the page feature of the of the arrival projectors. In case you don't know what that is, if you right click on it, you can set the page number. If you don't, it'll just default to page one. And if you if you have more arrivals you want to show, you can show page two. And you can also filter by platforms, although I don't think Lily did that right now. I think it's just page one, two, three, and four. Nice. Okay, so let's go to Crater Village. Kind of want to take these stairs, see where they go. Exit goes down here. Oh, you can already see the train. Oh, so we were above ground level. Interesting. Forest Cove and Ice Cave. So this is supposed to be a shuttle connecting Crater Village, right? Crater Village. Hmm, I don't know why it's just one line going back and forth instead of having two lines in each direction, but okay. Ah, Eric here is with us. Hi, Eric. And we're gonna ride this shuttle together. There's still 20 more seconds. Here comes the train. Look, look, look. Here comes the train. So since there's a dwell time of a minute, we can take some time to take a look at this train. So on the outside, we have the displays and on the ends as well with the route number and the destination. I actually don't know how the display looks in real life, so it's a lot of guessing actually. There is also supposed to be a display on the roof saying what the next station is, but I haven't added it to this train yet. But other than that, the seats are in place, the outside destination displays are in place, and they just alternate between languages at the moment. Yeah. And the front, this just looks like this, just like how I made all the other trains. <sighs> yeah. At first I made this transparent, the window here, but I was told that in real life you can't actually see through to the driver's seat. Oh, we just departed. So let's take a look. The actual ride is supposed to be only about 20 seconds, but it looks like we're taking a long time to get up to speed. So I'm guessing that these two stations are actually really close together, but the wait time for the train is actually longer than the time it takes to walk over, which is pretty funny. Oh look, there's another train over there. All right, so here we are. I recognize this design style by Sleepy of the random blocks. So the BR-423, the doors open outwards. So these are plug doors. Here we are, okay. Are there exits right now? Does this go to the exit? Wow, I like this lift that goes to the outside so that you can see the view. So there's another lift. All right, nice. If this is a work in progress and there are no exits, that's fine. But does this connect to the marble line? This looks like marble line. Yeah, I remember coming down here. Yeah, this is all coming back to me. That's why this the theme of the station was pretty familiar. All right, nice work. Okay, we're back at Zion Heights. And Lily and Eric are coming to join me as well. So, wow, look at this. The R2C lobby has greatly improved. We even have a rule board right here. Use any means necessary to get to the finish line at Cyan Heights Station as fast as possible. Step in the blue doorway to win. You may use any combination of train, boats, planes, buses, cable cars, and running to reach Cyan Heights. You may not use any commands 
whether warp or anything else, you'll be given 16 emergency pearls. You can use that as transport, or if you get stuck in a hole, you can use that to get out. But if you run out and you're stuck, then too bad, you'll be disqualified. You cannot try to kill yourself to get back to spawn. All right, that makes sense. So you can turn on the timer for yourself. Race to Sandtown, originally created by Isaac and Eric on the Sandtown server. And then this one, made by me, originally, inspired by the Sandtown one. Improvements made by Epic Puppy. Rollboard designed by Lily. Yeah, so there's been a lot of improvements by Epic Puppy, so let's see how well they are. Deep Snow Protection Boots. I want this. So I'm gonna wear them. Yep, there they are. Glass helmet. Yep, glass helmet. <laughs> it even has the colored text. Alright, lock start, lock start safety. And then clear inventory. Oh, it clears the boots and stuff as well. So let me grab that. Let's see how I look. Nice. Should I turn on the timer? Sure, let's turn on the timer for myself. Turn live timer off. There's no feedback of when I if I press the button. All right. Ready? Ready when you are. Lock start safety. Lock start. All right. You go ahead and start it. All right. So where are we? Ooh, I see that timer. This is stressful and I don't have the dashboard. Okay. I have no idea where I am, so I'm going to use the square map to help me. Oh, I'm down here in the snowy biome. Kira is all the way over there. The visitor. Gaijin Kusu. And then Eric over there. Where is Sleepy? Wow, Sleepy is far. All right, good luck to everyone. Where should I go? Southern, Southern and Benton. I know where that is, that's close to Yankton. So I can either go to Benton, take the snow troll up to Yankton or go here, take the snowy up. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll go to Southern cause I'm already pointing at that direction. So northwest, here we go. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to die right away. How am I supposed to traverse that mountain though? Ender pearl. I'll just keep pearling up to the top, I guess. All right. Ooh, I can't believe I ran into that lava even though I saw it. This is also really hard to walk around, so that's kind of annoying. Ah, oh, these trees make me get stuck all the time. Oh, I almost fell in a hole just now, but I jumped over it. Oh, I wish I had the dashboard with me so that I could see what I had. But I guess, I don't know if that's against the rules. Maybe I should clarify with the others. Whether a dashboard should be allowed or not. Because if we get the square map, we might as well get the dashboard too, right? Epic Puppy is coding in the vertical passenger information display system, which will be really cool for some people's stations. So I'm looking forward to that and how seeing how Epic Puppy implements that. I don't know where I am. I'm just running through this forest. I got stuck again. And the timer up there is kind of stressing me out. But I'm quite impressed that you can do all that with command blocks. Ooh, another big hole. Oh, light as a rabbit. Was I supposed to fall in the, into deep snow and I didn't? I bet that's what it was. Okay. I'm lost. Where am I? 
Oh, I ran past the station. So I should go southwest, leaning south. So if I keep going this way, I should eventually hit the station. I think Eric already saw the station, or like, Eric entered the station. Oh, I see some light. Is that the station? Ooh, that's just lava. Good thing I didn't fall in. Oh, station, station, come on. Oh, is this just Yankton? No, this this has to be Benton, right? Southern, yeah. Okay. Go, 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 go. Close the door. Wow, Sleepy has 625 meters of running. Poor you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we go to platform three. No, no, no. We need the snowy line, snowy line, snowy line. Not this to Eden. Yep. I remember visiting the station. Okay, 37 seconds, good. Wow, the visitor, Gaijin Kutsu, is going to spawn already. Lucky. So what I'm gonna do, go two stops to Yankton and then take the high speed back to spawn. I think that's the best best option for me. Alright, that's the train. It's an R train. So I'm just searching up the best route here. Oh, since I missed that other train, it's suggesting me to take the Shipton to Mogami and then take this up to Yankton and then high speed to spawn. That's fine. I got on the train because the next one to Eden comes in a minute. I guess apparently it's faster to go that way. Okay. What about, yeah, I'm arriving C1 Ho right now. So it's also suggesting me to go this way. Yeah, what else would I have expected, right? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty obvious route. If you want to know how to use the online system map for your world, make sure to check out my latest tutorial video as well because we've answered those questions for you. What are people saying in the chat? Kowloon commuter is not running. Take the Einsberg line from Denthrop to Twyford and then the Victory line, wow. That's quite a convoluted, convoluted route. All right. We're at Yankton. We will get off this train because we won't be going to Eden. We could go to Eden and take the... Go to Eden and... What was I saying? Take the Express... Callus Express to Yanjiang Mineshaft, but I don't think that's faster. Okay, I'm wasting time here because I'm trying to talk and run at the same time. Where is the high speed? Do I exit? Hmm. I think Stronger needs more signs here. I don't know where I'm going. Where is this place? <laughs> okay, I shouldn't just run around randomly. I should stay back on the concourse. Ah, here, high speed. This is the tunnel I was looking for. Wow, nice work. 8 minute 38. I'm just hitting 848. Eight. Okay. So high speed. Oh, I didn't have to take the APM. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Ooh. I don't want to miss. Ooh, I don't want to miss this high speed. 13 seconds. Nice. Going to the front of the train. Wow, you spawn on Northern Snow Village. 
That's only one stop from spawn. Lucky. But I'm pretty close to spawn now, though. Oh, Eric's on an MLR. Are you on the spawn Grand Circular? Let's see. Eric, yeah, Eric's on the spawn Grand Circular. What station, though? Oh, Enchanted Parkway. That's still quite a ways from spawn, but luckily the train goes fast. Yeah, Gaijin Kusu is here already. And where am I? I should be nearing spawn soon. Okay, the train's just turning. It's kind of cool to see myself in real time. Eric is closer to spawn by distance, but I think my train goes faster because both trains go 300 actually, but Eric has a few more stops. This is Tun Chao, Chong Chao, Cheng Chao, and then Kira. Verdant Leaf Mound. What line is this? I forgot what... That is the Hanakoshi line. Yeah. But I'm gonna get to spawn first. And then Sleepy is like way off in the middle of nowhere. I think she has to go through Clan Ra or something. Okay, I should get ready to get off the train soon. No more looking at the system map. Or the square map. Okay, I'm almost hitting 12 minutes. Can I beat 12 minutes? Hmm, that might be tricky because I have to get on the APM or try to just run it. Sometimes running might be better actually because we have the speed, bo speed boost right now. So can I just get off here? And yeah, this is also another tactic to just run off before the train has come to a complete stop. Don't do that in real life, by the way. It's a little bit dangerous. But if you do this, you can save some time and yes, make this train. That was a really close one, but I got on. So hopefully I can get back to spawn. Oh, I already passed 12 minutes, but maybe I can beat 13 minutes. Let's see. Is there a leaderboard? It would be cool to have a leaderboard. Welcome to the Interchange Concourse. I am in the unpaid area. So I should be able to just run right out. Come on. This feels like race the tube because I'm like waiting right in front of the doors and trying to run out as soon as the doors open. This part is still work in progress. There's still glowstone blocks on the ground. I like coming out from here. I can't jump over, but I can just, oh, I cannot jump. Go, go, go. Watch for buses. No buses. Oh, fell in the water. Who's here? Yes. Oh no. I ran through the wrong door. Is it ruined? Oh no, okay, it still, still considered me as, okay, <laughs> passing through the finish line. I feel like I could have beaten, I could have beaten 13 minutes, but I <laughs> went through the wrong portal, so I went back into the lobby instead. Nice, Eric just arrived. I'm gonna go back into creative and see where Eric is. Ah, Eric just got off the spawn, Grand Circular. Oh, this part's different. Platform 6 has nothing right now. A platform 8 goes to Bayside, okay. <laughs> just taking a look at all this stuff because I haven't been down here in quite a while as well. Ooh, Northern Town. Is this running now? I still work in progress. Maybe there's just one train cycling the line. That's why I didn't show on the other side. The Spawn Grand Circular is still using these Christmas trains. When will I change them? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what Sleepy is doing. Oh, this is the... Line to Excalibur Temple. I, 
forgot what the line name is. You're still quite a quite a ways away. What stop are you at? Oh, this is Saint Devota. So the next one you can change to the high speed. Back to spawn. Now you're riding all the way in the front. Nice, Eric, 15 minutes. Outskirts near Denthro run. Brick Parkway, Einspurt, HSR, Victory Line to Old Depot, Jump One Train in the Queue. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. One more stop, then you can get the HSR. I'm guessing you know where the exit is, that's why you're moving to the back. Alright, so we've arrived. Oh wow, how did Lily get out here so quickly? Okay, I don't know why, but... Ooh, is that a train? Train, 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 train! Nice. I don't think this dwell time is that long either. So that's pretty lucky that you made this one. This one is Yankton via spawn. So yeah, perfect connection. No interchanges and you go all the way back to Terminal 1. Alright, so Lily will make it back to spawn in time. I don't have much time to record today, so I'm gonna end the video pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to Canada this weekend, so hopefully I get to ride the SkyTrain in Vancouver. I think that'll be fun. I've never been on it before, but I think the Hong Kong MTR will be better. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video. It helps me out a lot and share this video to your friends who like trains and Minecraft. I'm sure they'll appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!